Okay guys, I know I've been missing in action, but I promise to try and get a video up every week. Today I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on how to make a mold, a polymer clay mold, from a rubber stamp. And what I'm using today is just a sleeve stamp. So let me get started. So I just have some old clay that I'm not going to use. Um, it's nude. You can use like old uh, pieces and scraps of clay that you really don't have no use for. What I'm going to do is just get this out and just make it pliable. Put some heat on it and work it like you're supposed to do with polymer clay. Get it soft. And I'm trying to do this as quick as possible. It'd probably take a little bit more time if I wasn't doing this on video but this is what we do I'm real bad at saying but and just stopping there I gotta break that butt habit in um <laughs> I'm always doing that so let me try and get better about doing that about not doing it so let me roll it up And when I flatten it out, I want to make sure it's wide enough to accommodate the stamp. And also, I want to make sure it's high enough to where I can get all of the definition from the stamp. So what I'll do is just take my roller. Get a smooth surface going and then I'll measure to see okay just a little bit more and when you're doing this um you can cut you can cut your clay square you can leave it round however you want to do it Alright, so now I'm just going to take some talc, or you can use cornstarch, and just put some over the top of the clay. So when I use my stamp, it does not stick. Does not stick to the clay. Okay, so I'm ready. And what I'll do is just push up around it to make sure I get all the edges covered. Just push up on it. Okay. And just pop it out. There we go. It's perfect. So what I'll do now is go ahead and bake it, and I'll come back and show you um, how to make an impression from, from this mold that I just made. And also, um, you can use, once you make a, I mean, once you use this mold to actually make a leaf, a polymer clay leaf, you can then use that leaf and make a rubber mold to use with your resin. So I can show you that, guys, later, but um, I don't have any... Uh, resin mold right now rubber mold that I will use to make it for the resin so I'll do it at a later date but I'm gonna bake this and I'll be back okay so I'm back I've baked my my new mold and it's hard as you can hear and so I'll just show you how it works now so I'll take some more of my talc and remember you can use cornstarch if you don't have talc or vice versa <laughs> So I have some green clay here that I've conditioned. Throw them it up. I'm 
And so what I'll do is just kind of line it up with the stamp. So just lift it. And there you have your leaf. And so what you would do then is take your cutting knife and just cut. And cut out your leaf. Of course, you would take more time than what I'm doing here, but I'm just trying to give you an idea how it all goes and how easy it is to turn a stamp into a mold. So you just trimmed it out really neatly and you know go in and smooth it out with clay tools or your fingers. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you're used to working with clay then you'll know how to smooth the clay out. Okay. That's just to give you an idea. So there you go. And what you can do, you could bend it if you wanted to. You know, it don't have to lay flat. You can bend it. You know, do it this way if you want to. And make an interesting piece from it and make it into a pendant. Do it this way if you want. Make it into a pen or brooch. Um, I'm contemplating whether or not I'll do anything with it. I'm thinking about baking in it and adding some color, but who knows? We'll see. If I do, I'll um, video and do a tutorial on that as well. But there you go. Make a stamp into a mold. Then use your mold to make your piece. Alright guys, um, any comments, please leave them in the comment box. Thanks for watching.